Welcome to this video. Today we will be talking about end value analysis for controlling project variances and in particular three important concepts of plan value and value and actual cost. At the planning stage of any project we have estimations of time and cost but what happens on the actual project environment is different. We might have progress lower uh, than uh, the plans. In this example, uh, you can see that uh, the plan is to spend uh, three quarters or 75% of the funds by the end of the third period. The actual progress, however, is only 65% uh, and uh, by multiplying this uh, to the $6,000 total budget for the activity, the end value uh, will be less than uh, the plan value. Another example, this time uh, the progress made is 80% and the end value of uh, $4,800 is more than the plan value. Here is an example, a project with six um, activities and the total uh, plan values are tabulated down the bottom. We can uh, analyze the uh, the earned value uh, in this uh, stage. For example, at the end of the second uh, period of time, the expectation uh, is that 50% uh, uh, of uh, uh, the budget for activity A has been spent and the actual progress is 50% at the end of the second period. So both planned values and uh, earned value are uh, five. Looking at uh, the third time period, activity B uh, is planned uh, to have 20% uh, of the budget spent. However, the actual progress is only 15% and the earned value of 7.5 is less than the planned value of 10. This analysis can be done for other uh, time periods in uh, this project. For calculation of earned value, uh, we can follow these uh, major steps. Uh, we can uh, measure the progress of um, activities, the actual progress made on site. Then uh, multiply this progress and the uh, budget for each activity. Then uh, earned value can be calculated. Important uh, performance metric of schedule variance is then uh, the difference between earned value and uh, planned value. We can see in uh, our uh, project, uh, schedule variance has been uh, calculated and tabulated in the fifth column of the table. In this uh, example, uh, we have uh, planned values and uh, earned values uh, given to us. Uh, we can calculate the schedule variance as the difference between earned value and planned value. We, uh, encourage you to pause the video and uh, calculate schedule variances yourself to see if they are accurate. Then uh, the cumulative the total uh, figures can be used uh, to plot per plan value and earn value for each uh, period of time. Another important uh, Analysis that we can uh, have is the comparison of earned value and actual cost. In this uh, example, we have made 65% uh, 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 progress, so the earned value is $3,900. But the actual cost uh, that we have obtained from the accounting the department of the company is uh, $5,000. And this actual cost is more than uh, the planned value. Looking uh, at this um, example, uh, earned value and the actual cost are uh, given to us uh, and uh, we can uh, analyze the situation of the project by uh, plotting the three curves. Cost variance, uh, which is another performance metric uh, for the project, is the difference between earned value and actual cost. For uh, our example, uh, cost variances are tabulated in the fifth column in here. As you can see in the plot, uh, earned value graph uh, sits below 
actual cost indicating a negative cost variance as can be seen in the table as well. Another example here, this time actual cost is uh, given. I encourage you to pause the video and calculate cost variances as the difference between earned value and actual cost. Then the cumulative total uh, values can be used to plot uh, uh, the three curves for this project. When comparing uh, plan value, earned value and actual cost, uh, multiple situations can happen. As an example, in the first plot, uh, we can see that earned value graph is below uh, plan value and also actual cost. This indicates uh, a negative uh, schedule variance and also negative uh, cost variance. Other performance uh, matrices can be generated uh, by uh, having the uh, ratio of earned value and um, actual cost and also the ratio of earned value and planned value. The objective here is to avoid the uh, situation that these indices uh, are below one because this is an indication of the project being over cost or running behind schedule. You can plot uh, the, the cost performance index and the schedule performance index uh, to visualize the project situation. And uh, you can see our benchmark is uh, uh, one. So being above uh, that line is desirable. That's all that uh, we wanted to cover in uh, this uh, video. Thanks for your attention and I look forward to having our future discussions.